Okay, let's analyze this system of differential equations. Okay, this homogeneous system of differential equations. So here we see that y prime is a y, where y is just a list of unknown functions. Okay? And this is obviously linear. So A is going to be a n by n matrix. Okay? And linearity implies that if you have one solution, let's just call it y1, and if you have another solution, y2, then you can generate another solution, y3, like this. So this is what linearity implies, and this is very useful because once you have two solutions, you can get all the solutions. There we go. Now, let's go ahead and talk about this. Uh, let's take the case where n is 1. So when n is 1, our matrix is 1 by 1, and it's simply y is equal to, y prime is equal to a y, okay? This is a very simple equation, and it has a solution, y of t is some constant times e to the a t, okay? Now let's go ahead and take a look at general n, so n varies. So When n varies, you can assume that you can have an analogy to this case. So you could have y of t being some constant mu times e to the r t. Okay, so this is our analogy. And then, let's go ahead and talk about this. Well, let's take the derivative of this. So this means that y prime of t is going to be our r, we move that down to the front, times mu e RT. Okay, and now let's see if this satisfies our differential equation. So we get y prime is equal to a y. So this means that y prime, which is r mu e to the r t, is going to be a y, and then a y is going to be a mu e to the r t like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and give myself just a little bit more room here. So we have this. Let's go ahead and bring this over to the other side. So we get r mu to the e r t minus a mu to the e r t. It's going to be our zero vector. So the idea here is you have to find constants to mu and r. So let's go ahead and keep on going with this. Notice this r is the same as r i, okay? Mu e r t minus a mu e r t. The reason why I did that is so we can factor this mu e to the r t out on both sides. So we get r i minus a times mu e to the r t is our zero vector. So, you see you've gotten it down to here. And this may look very familiar because this is the form that you use to find your eigenvectors and your eigenvalues. So, you can go ahead and say this is a non-zero vector that ri, the determinant of ri might say is zero. And we can go on from there. Okay. Thanks for watching.